Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day, Andrew Yadell and Judy Aiken. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas. And we're live talking to my audience across the nation. So I'm so glad you guys are here today. Andrew, you are the president of North America at Cotty Detail Therapeutics. Tell me what we need to know about this rare chronic autoimmune disease. Sure. Uh, IgA nephropathy, also known as IGAN, is a rare uh, chronic progressive autoimmune disease that attacks the kidneys, the body who attacks the kidneys, and causes destruction, inflammation and destruction of the kidneys. Unfortunately, some people, this leads to end-stage renal disease, which means dialysis and things like transplantation for some of these patients. Um, as far as prevalence in the United States, it's about 130 to 150,000 people in the U.S. that are affected by IgA nephropathy. Is there uh, any diagnosis to find it and catch it before it becomes a disease? How is that being handled? So not really. So uh, the patient journey, the typical journey, and, and everyone's journey is different, is that they'll have some symptoms, um, but sometimes it's routinely found during normal checkups. And the early symptoms that, that most often arise would be blood in the urine or frothy urine, uh, flank pain or swollen uh, legs, ankles, feet, um, but not every patient, once again, receives this. The only way to get a uh, real diagnosis is with a kidney biopsy, but that's after you've seen the doctor and obviously they detect something's wrong. Okay, Judy, uh, you're a person that is impacted by this. You're an also a patient advocate. Can you give me a little bit of your journey in a synopsis format? Yes, so I was diagnosed in 20, the summer of 2019 after a routine visit with my general practitioner. Um, she was concerned about my blood pressure, so she ran some lo blood labs, and it came back that I had stage 3 chronic kidney disease. So she referred me to a nephrologist that did a biopsy, and it was determined that I had IgA nephropathy. Um, at the time, I was given some different treatments to handle the symptoms and sent pretty much on my way to navigate my illness. And when I got you know, home, I started realizing how isolating it was and how hard it was to deal with the fact that I was living with a chronic illness. And then on top of that, it wasn't just affecting me, it was also affecting my family, especially my son, who at the time was five years old. You know, he had to start to live with the idea that you know, his mom was sick and someday he, I may not be here for him. So that was really challenging and difficult and to kind of avoid a, you know, going to dialysis, I decided to follow a low sodium plant-based diet. I also make sure that I see my nephrologist every three months. I do labs to make sure my kidney function as well as my pre-protein um, levels are in the standard range that I need to be in to be considered stable. I also left a career that I, I loved so much to help reduce the stress in my life, which, you know, if you can imagine, left me even more isolated. So I decided to turn to social media so that I could connect with other IGAN patients. I could share my stories with them. They could share their storage with me. So basically, we don't feel so alone. You tell your story very well. I'm so glad that you're here to share with my audience. I really am, Judy. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. We'll find a way to connect with your uh, advocacy in a moment. Uh, Dr. Andrew, is her story normal? Do people find out they've got it and they get a hold of their life? Or what happens to people diagnosed with this autoimmune disease? So unfortunately, there really hasn't been a lot to treat it in, in the past, and, and Judy's journey is, is somewhat typical. 
Um, and the good news is that, well, I should say in the past, people like Judy have light, the physician recommends lifestyle changes, things to reduce blood pressure and inflammation. Uh, the good news is there's been a lot of research recently, and the company I work for, Kaliditas Therapeutics, has designed a medication specifically to treat IgA nephropathy, and it was FDA approved at the end of the last year and is available now. In addition to creating this medication and developing this medication, we're also very proud that we've developed a patient portal, something called IGAN Connect, so that as Judy described, this loneliness and this confusion and, and not sure about the disease, they can go to this one-stop uh, portal online and get information about the disease, meet other patients, uh, learn questions they should ask their physician, things of that nature, so they don't feel so alone. Okay, doctor, I'm going to take this question from Instagram because people listen to me all over the world on various platforms. And one of the questions is, uh, the poster said, you mentioned frothy when you were explaining about the disease. What does that mean? Like uh, very foamy, foamy and thick. Okay. I hope that answers your question, but I'm sure people have a lot more questions and they want to hear about Judy's advocacy. Where can they go to find this patient advocate information and more about this autoimmune disease? Sure. It's IGANConnect.com. So IGANConnect.com. I want to thank you, Dr. Andrew, and definitely, Judy, you can tell your story. You tell it very well. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB show. I really appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. for having us. I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.